que hace cuando viene maja. Madre mía, se da con un tacón de esos se desnuca. Stage. We're so happy to be back here. It's been such an amazing year for us after our win. And we're so excited to see who's going to be the next winner. And we want to wish them all the luck. Hello. Who are you? My name is Viviana Rossi, and I'm from Spain. Oh, that's great. What is your act? I am an aerialist performer. Is it a dangerous act? Yes, this is the first time after my accident. Oh. What accident? I fell down from a few meters. Doing this same act that you're going to do here? Yes. Do you make a living doing this act? Yes, I am a professional performer. Right now, I'm performing in France, but my dream is can't perform in the United States. 
in the most important shows in America. Okay. Perfect, we're ready. Thank you. I've seen the guy do this act. I really have. It's always crazy to me that people want to put their life into danger like that. in a James Bond movie or something like that. Thank you, Howie. I love that you're athletic, it was dangerous, it was everything, you checked every box and uh, you washed yourself and you ended with a spin cycle. It was like a whole beautiful laundry. Thank you very much. I felt like hypnotized, literally. Like when you were twirling, I was like, <laughs> And then when you did the really fast spin, going 100 miles an hour, around and around. I had wet hands sitting here watching you. I was so nervous for you. Thank you very much. And I'm so happy that everything was perfect and it was stunning. Thank you very much. Love it. Thank you. Simon, what did you think of Viviana? We've said this a lot this year, that if we've seen a similar act on a previous season, but it's not better this year than... We should say no. 100%. Yeah. And we, I have seen someone do this act, actually. With water and yeah. everything? And it was a guy. Uh. <laughs> okay, it's true. However, you were so much better. Yeah! yeah. Thank you. It's original, um, and that this is exactly what we are looking for uh, on the show this year. Thank you. So that was sensational. I'm gonna say yes. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Uh, 
Uh, I'm Lewis Codling. Hello, Lewis. Where are you from? Uh, I'm a London boy. London. And how old are you? I'm 27. I'm just singing for you today. Oh, you're singing today? OK, brilliant. Good luck. actually have me fooled. Thanks. Yeah, you're a very good actor. Where, where do you guys normally perform and gig? We just literally put the whole show together. I've got a really dry mouth. This David wants... Do you want to give him some water? Oh, David. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. There we go, there we go, there we go. No problem. No problem. Well done, well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Well done, really good, yeah, well really good stuff, yeah? Well done. Really good. Uh, let me just say, <laughs> I'm not sure you really want me to take my clothes off here. <laughs> it's not quite as nice as that. I think, you know, we're going to have to take a vote before things get out of hand. OK, David, yes or no? Um, yeah, I'm sort of on the fence. Um... <laughs> OK, it's a yes, OK. Alicia? It's a yes from me, guys. Simon? I'm going to say yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Four yeses, please. And it's a big, fat, juicy yes from me. Yes! Thank you!
Amazing. You know, you see these acts and they do a few tricks and you think, oh yeah, great, where you are just endless and smooth <laughs> and it's seamless and it's so graceful. It is perfection! <laughs> you know, it's a real testament. This is a, a show where only one act can walk out with $250,000 and your performance. I think moved you one step closer to $250,000. Oh. <laughs> Aiden, honestly, you are a natural born performer. It reminded me watching the Olympics sometimes and someone gets a 10, a 10, a 10, a 10. And that was a 10. Actually, it was an 11. Think you about to give me go to work. I hope not. Thank you, Simon. Thank you for having me back. If you only wanted to be on my team. He does not want to be with you, Simon. OK. Anyway, my respect for you for coming back and literally putting your title on the line. That says everything about you and good for you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Simon. Jesus, you'll be staying with your mentor. <sighs> I was worried you were going to steal him from me. Where are you guys from? We were all three born in Australia. Oh. The ladies like these guys. So how did you guys get into performing? Well, our father, he taught us. We all have been a part of it. It's like a family act. Well, go for it. Thank you, thank you. As a child, you would wait and watch from far away. But you always knew that you'd be the one to work while they all play. And you, you'd lay awake at night and scheme of all the things that you would change. But it was just a dream. Wow.
for the wow factor. You delivered the wow. <laughs> you are so talented. So, so, so talented. Thank you. Simon? The minute you walked on, you had this star presence about you. And you tick every single box. I am so excited that you came on this show. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. First of all, uh, amazing strength. This show is about variety. I'm always excited when I see something that I haven't seen before. You did an amazing job. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, let's take it to a vote. Simon? Uh, I would love to be the first person to say yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Go ahead. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Thank you. Three yeses. Yes. Thank you very much. Four yeses. We want to say that's you. also like a dream for us come true because we love Terry. Woo! Terry? We need Terry for this. Terry! Song. Terry! Yeah! We need Terry! 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 Terry!
that you can't stop watching and you want it to be over at the same time, why you don't do this with a big mat underneath? <laughs> oh my God, I mean, you've done some moves we have never, ever seen. Emma, everything was unbelievable. Thank you so much for coming all the way. Thank you, thank you very much. It, it doesn't even look real. It looks like a special effect. Thank you. Your core strength, your arm strength, your leg strength, all beyond anything I have ever seen before. It was breathtaking. It was like mesmerizing. It was so dramatic. They were going crazy. I loved it. I'm really curious about uh, the two of you, your friendship. Tell me more about that. So we was grew up together and you know, we also pass through the hard situation together. So this is why it's make us so strong. This is why we trust each other. Because you're right, this is what we do and it's super dangerous. We don't use in the mats, nothing. And we don't have chance for mistake. This is why we trust each other so much. Okay, so you both had this, this obviously this dream. I always tell to my daughters at Olympic Games that the biggest competition in the world. And she so many times say, no papa. This is the biggest event in the world, so yeah. the dream come true. This act was extraordinary. Um, really, really, really good. And thank you for coming on our show. Thank you. Okay, Howie. Yes. Heidi. Yes. Yes. You got four yeses. Thank you.
I'm Saulo from Canary Island. How old are you? 28. 28, that's good. And um, <laughs> what's your star sign? Leo. Oh, Leo the lion. Yes. Same as me. <laughs> Saulo, are you married? No. Wonderful news. <laughs> so what's the big dream for you, Saulo? I want to show to the whole England what I can do. Thank you. Oh dear. Nice skin complexion. Though. Yeah. And I'm feeling. Oh! I thought he missed it then.
How are you? I'm a bit terrified. Oh, you've got nothing to be afraid of. And what's your name? I'm Beatrix von Bourbon. OK, how old are you, Beatrix? I'm 27. OK, well, I don't know what you're going to do, but good luck. Thank you. It's a new day, it's a new life for me And I'm feeling good I'm feeling good Fish in the sea, you know how I feel River running free, you know how I feel Blossom on a tree, you know how I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me And I'm feeling good Beatrix, uh, do you have a second song? <laughs> David? Well, I would say, Simon, could you see this in the Royal Variety performance? <laughs> I think it's cool, David. I'd like to find our sort of British version of Dieter von Tees. And I'm willing to back you, Beatrix. He's right behind you. <laughs> OK, let's vote. David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Alicia? It's a yes. Amanda? And it's a yes from me. I'm going to give this one to Anton Deck. He got the yes! Yes! Hold <laughs> <laughs> yes. on. Yes! Well done! Well done! <laughs> This is amazing world. This is amazing world. But it won't be nothing. Without you, 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 without Man made a your light to take us out of the dark. Man made 
made the bowl for the water. Wow. Like Lola made the ark. This is a maze, a maze. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Madame Khede, Madame Khede, Rachte, Madame Bashi. Madame Bashi, that's fine. Oh my God, Magda.
belly dancing on love. Povedala, že môže. Stai in culisse! Thank you. 
amazed in fucking him up. We feel at the end of it. I'd like to remove my ex. David. I just sort of thought, wouldn't it be great to see Simon sat on the chair yes. and you doing the dancing? Yeah. 
we can make it happen. Come on. David, David, no. David, no. <laughs> In seven years, we've gone on this stage. Let's do it. Oh, no. Play the music. <laughs> Play the music. There's not a bit of wobbliness on you well, anywhere. Well, I use it to tone up and to keep fit. I just find it a really fun way to exercise. So, so do I. <laughs> really good. I'm, uh, you're always welcome at my classes, Simon. Thank you. <laughs> and you're welcome at mine. Right, Kerry, it is a yes from me. Yes. It's a yes. Daisy? All right, then, yes. <laughs> Pues te diría la mejor, ¿eh? Mm. ¿Eh? Te diría la mejor sí. de esto sí. bailando. Es, es muy top. Oh, buenísima. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. 
And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability, that's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. Yeah, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. Understand? In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17 year old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this? I got Pinot Grigio! Yeah, got that Grigio! Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club! It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with a Doritos Locos taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia! You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition, and I really want to know what Simon thinks! Simon! Did he win you over? I think I helped you. No! I do. I really, really do. I think magic that... Magic Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! Howie! No. <laughs> I want to give a standing ovation to... Let me finish. To Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. He this did. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss on live TV. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God. You did it. They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they gonna rob you when they bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. Oh. Hi, 
lady. Uh -oh. My mom told me that you're Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> And over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's that that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not going to clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be laugh, blissed, right? <laughs> Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that was that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know. And I'm I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, <laughs> who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! What? Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> 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 This is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. 
But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, yeah, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, okay? Let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy up? sometimes, and Simon is sometimes local, so it, there's <laughs> nothing. I admit it. I do admit it. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. 
I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. <laughs> right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. So on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch, and everybody saw that, and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that, 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now, it does not end well. <laughs> There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care why you say, Howie, no. they're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yes. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you weren't on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, la, you guys are so la, la, la. fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. The password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the. No. Are you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! Yeah! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, They're him, cheating him, him, because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody.